What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp. This is Sparky. Back again like you never left. And today on Basement Operator, we're going to be talking about a rifle build. This is the Jam Badger. The Jam Badger. Not to be confused with the Honey Badger, Badger. which we have no affiliation with Q. So this is a 300 blackout that just so happens to be gray and tan. And short. And short. Oddly reminiscent of another firearm out in the community. And we are poor, so we had to go with this one. We wanted to do a kind of personal defense weapon, the build it at home kind it's a of deal. Truck gun. Home defense. You could technically hunt with it. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. This this kind of checks off the, the whole PDW stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, personal defense weapon. I always want to be transparent with you guys. We want to talk a little bit about this rifle and where the parts came from. We want to be open and clear about everything. So the rifle itself actually was built by me. Now, a lot of the parts came from a lot of different great people. We worked with a wide variety of companies mm -hmm. on this build. So the mainstay in this build, I would like to say, would probably be Aero Precision. They were super awesome and sent out the upper, the lower, the essential parts of this build. Well, I also want to thank B5 Systems. B5 mm -hmm. Systems sent us out the stock and the grip. It looks awesome. We like B5 stuff before, so it was just great that they were willing to work with us on this build. And then last but not least, another big supporter and contributor to this build is Optics Planet. So that's where we get the optic from and you know, the little, the law attack folder. So th that's kind of the full disclaimer on that. So let's talk a little bit about the concept of this rifle. So this is an actual SBR. We knew going into this, we actually wanted the stock. We didn't want to dance around the brace. We wanted it to be the whole shebang here. So we wanted to get a PDW, something that could be compact, lightweight, fold up, you know, optimal truck gun, optimal for concealing it, being able to put it in a backpack, being able to put it underneath <laughs> the Weapon seat. snatcher stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we wanted a small package that packed a very, very big punch. So obviously we went 300 Blackout. 300 Blackout was designed for the, you, you know, the, the short, compact, small- Made to be suppressed. Made to be suppressed firearm. And this was exactly that. We wanted to put her on take on the 300 Blackout and, for what and, and do, do it and do it affordably. This this build is not super, super crazy expensive. I mean, it's, it's a little bit it's more. It's not cheap. But it's yeah. not cheap, but it, it could be so much worse. Oh yeah, sure. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the parts. We're gonna go from tip to butt. We're gonna hit everything in it. But before we do, we would like to say a big thank you to AceTac for supporting this video as well. They, uh, you know, we run their, we're, we run a lot of their kits. Oh, it's nice. The guys down there are pretty awesome. So big thank you for uh, sponsoring today's video. So big thank you to Ace Tech. This is their micro rig. Mm -hmm. We love this thing a lot. We've actually worn it quite a bit. Quite a bit, yeah. And uh, they have a lot of awesome stuff coming to market here in the next few months. So uh, make sure to go check out Ace Tech and give them a look and tell them that uh, we sent you. Thank you for your support. Tip to butt. Sparky, do you want to start? Go for it. You, you, you run it, go. Ah, okay. You know, the PDW thing, we wanted to incorporate some sort of sound suppression. This is a 300 blackout like we had mentioned, so we are running the dead air K suppressor on it. Mm -hmm. 300 blackout does a very, very good job at being suppressed. suppressed. It's kind of like what it's meant to do, and the dead air K works really well with that. We have had some issues with the dead air K in terms of flash suppression. In so, other calibers. In, in other calibers. Hunter, did you notice this one that bad on this one? I, I didn't, I didn't like, no, the 223 is horrible. We got some end caps coming for it, but this one works really well in this little build. It cycles, you know, you know, the, the hot stuff and subsonics. Just fine. Just fine. And it doesn't have a lot of gas issues with the suppressor on it. Moving over, we have an HRT Tactical Light. This one is actually just the head with an Arasaka body and a Surefire pressure system on it. It is mounted and the cord is ran with a Strike Industries cable, uh, management. cable management system, which we really like a lot. Really like a lot. It's a very sturdy, well done cable management can't system. Break it. No, you can't break it. It fits right into the inbox slot and it doesn't tear up your cords or anything. It, it actually works really, really well. 
So that is what we have in terms of our light. We're not running a laser just because of real estate space. And then, you know, this is not our night vision optic or yeah. our night vision gun. So we're not worried too much about <laughs> having that IR capability. It's just not that important in this build. It's not needed for what this is meant to do. Exactly. It, there's just no real concern for it. Now we're getting kind of to the heart of it. So we have an eight and a half inch barrel. You know, it's a 300 blackout. So we want to run a super short barrel. I don't like getting too small because you run out of real space altogether. Yeah. So we have the eight, eight and a half inch barrel. Then we pair it with a pistol length gas system and mm -hmm. then a seven and a half inch rail. I like this rail a lot. Oh, I love the Air Precision rails. They, they make awesome stuff. It looks it's, good. It's clean. Oh, it's beautiful. And you know, Arrow and Stagger are pretty much the same company. Stag runs the same rails. We've had, this is the exact same rail that's on the Stag, except for shorter. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've beat the Stag to Thing crap. locks down real good. Oh yeah, the locking system's great. There's no way to rotate because it meets with the upper. So it's kind of stuck where it's at until you rip it off. I mean, I, I have no issues Very whatsoever. Very well made, I'm a huge fan. Oh yeah, and they're slick, they're clean. They got a QD point and the QD point's a little bit raised out. So it doesn't come into contact with the barrel, which yeah. is a good thing. You can see it's kind of bumped yeah, right there. Yeah, it's got a little raised to it. That's nice. They so, got cutouts on the top for for shaving some weight. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty small rail anyway, but yeah. you know, it's, 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 a, it's a great rail system. The only thing that kind of sucks about this is there's not a lot of room to run any kind of hand stop or anything. You kind of just, but it, it's, it's by, it, it's a, it's a, it's a cost due to the, how small the package yeah. is. It's rough, ain't it? Yep, rough. Ain't it, Hunter? It's rough. Yep, small packages, rough. In terms of accuracy out of this, we're getting, you know, MOA a little bit more. It's not a super accurate rifle, but the it's, the intent is not to have a super, super accurate rifle. This is, you know, your PDW, your personal defense. You're not taking long shots with this thing. As long as you can hit that, I would say 50 to 100 yard. That's all That's, that's all, all it needs to do. And it, it'll do that just, just fine. You're not setting this up to reach out and touch somebody. Exactly, you're not. Moving further back, we have the upper receiver. This is just a very standard upper and lower kit from Aero Precision. They have them all the time on their website. It's, it's, it's really nothing special. Arrow makes really nice upper and lower. Good uh, quality for the money. Yeah, good quality for the money. Parts fit it just fine. They're within spec. No spec. You don't have any issues. A lot of people say Arrow is kind of as low as they'll go uh, because, you know, they have such a good quality for mm -hmm. not being insanely expensive. I'd agree with that. Charging handle. We're running an Arrow Precision Breach charging handle. FDE is just a little bit off from... It's like almost like a burnt bronze. It is more of a burnt bronze, which is so, fine. I think it still looks good. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, still looks good. It's basically Arab Precision's rendition of the Radiant Raptor. I mean, it works. It's a little beefier. It's a little beefier, but I mean, it I works like it. really well. I don't have, I don't have any complaints. I mean, you know, the extended charging handles, as long as it works, I'm kind of okay with it. We obviously love our Radiants, but it, it's fine. In terms of what else is in the upper receiver, we just have a normal Aero Precision 556 bolt carrier group. For those that don't know, 556 bolt carrier group and 300 blackout bolt carrier group, exact same bolt carrier group. This is no special bolt carrier group here. It is just the $100 one from Aero Precision. Same Does one. The job. Yeah, the same one that's in our other Arrow and in the Stag. Mm -hmm. It works just fine. There's nothing insane. If it ain't insane. broke, don't fix it. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Normal lower parts kit. The only thing that's different about the lower parts kit is I do have an ambi safety selector on it. It is not as nice as Talons. a Talon. It's actually part of the hodgepodge of stuff that I had in the basement. This is actually- Some that, pack stuff? Some, some tack pack stuff. This is actually not from, uh, not from old Arrow Precision. I was just like, well, I want to give her a test for a go. So, uh, ta da. Ta da. I'll probably swap those out if I ever find some radiance just laying around because those are so much better. Now, working to the top of the upper receiver, we kind of get to uh, one of the most important parts optic. of this build is the optic. So, this is a Hollow Sun 510C. This is the Op Mod version. So, mm -hmm. this, you have to pick this up at Optics Planet. It's the nice, beautiful gray to match the jam badgers uh theme as mm -hmm. some might say it's basically like hollow sun's version or competitor to the eotech except for it runs about 500 and they're not 500 310 dollars more so wallet friendly yeah it's more wallet friendly it's almost half the cost of your eotech um it has a nice reticle in it that very similar to the it's eotech crisp. it's got a oh shoot solar panel. panel it's not a solar panel what's it called 
In layman's terms. In layman's terms, it's the solar panel. I swear there's a more official name for it. There probably is. You know, but you this, didn't read the brochure. No, I didn't this. read the brochure. But it, it's been a very nice optic. We have it mounted with an American Defense quick detach Hollow the Sun 510C mount. If you want to check that out, go to American Defense's website and use code DELF. You can save you a little moolah on it. It's a very great quick detach mount. It's not know. overly bulky. No. I mean, it's, it's bam. Just like that. Just like that. And then. Right back home. Right back home. And there's no there's no wobble. There's no wobble. There's no or wobble movement. or wiggle. There ain't nothing. Not no dance moves on that bad boy. Mm -mm. Nice and useful. Moving back or moving down, lower receiver. We kind of talked a little bit about it. We have a B5 grip on it. We have a mil spec trigger in it. Nothing insane. Kind of kind of went on the budget end of that. We didn't want to go too crazy on any of it because you know with the optic, the suppressor, this stuff, we started to add up in terms of cost, and we really didn't want to get too far down the rabbit hole. So moving back, we have another important and crucial aspect to this build that really makes it what it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so the LawTac folder. This LawTac folder, it did come from Optics Planet. Uh, that thing is also kind of expensive, running about $250. Now this is the OpMod exclusive, very similar to the Hollow Sun. It's kind of got a grayish tint, tint to yeah. it, uh, it's where it's not black. black how a normal, you know, law attack is. This is my first actual experience with the law attack and it's been pretty good. It's the, very sturdy. The, it's very sturdy. And I will say I, I was kind of intimidated when it came to the install. Nah, it installed so easy. Oh, it, yeah, yeah it's, it's stupid. It's stupid simple to install. Kind of surprised by it. It's got a nice little bolt extension here. Uh, and then all you do is flip it over and she's ready to go. Right. She's, she's ready to she's cook. She's in business. Oh yeah. Uh, bolt, or not bolt, but buffer tube, buffer spring, Standard. and then buffer tube all all come from an air precision kit. It's, you know, super, Standard mill spec. super simple stuff. And then finally, last but not least, we have that gray B5 systems stock. B5 makes some awesome stuff. It looks bougie. What more do you really need? You know, I mean, it had it's it's sturdy. There's not a lot There's of play lot of into wheel. it. And then you also have your QD point. So when you're running your sling, you can run it back there. You could run it on your law tack folder, which has a point in the back, or you could run it up here and run it on your rail system. So you got options. So you got options when you want to run your sling. This will fit in a nice little compact book bag of some sort. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to go on a hike and you want to carry something a little bit bigger, or if you're like storing it in your vehicle, for like that emergency situation, this would be great for it. Or if you want to keep it in your room and you know, yeah. hide it hide or, the drawer. Or, or whatever you need to do to, you know, be more ready at your house. You or know? if you don't have a lot of room in the safe. Exactly. And you want something that's, you know, more useful. And then with the versatility of the 300 blackout, you also get to shoot subsonics. Uh, subsonics are super quiet. Um, and then you also get that 30 caliber bullet. So, you, you know, here get in Virginia, walk. if you wanted to, you could, hunt with it or you can really do anything with this rifle in Virginia that you could possibly want to. One of the downfalls with this rifle is the fact it is an SBR. Um, <laughs> paperwork. You know, paperwork. So you, you got that tax stamp that you have to deal with but you know for, for the purpose of this we really felt like it needed the stock so and it, it looks so much better works so much better brace. i will say a stock is world's difference than a brace oh yeah know? for sure so i mean we, we felt like it was really needed we're very happy with how the build turned out to do a quick kind of roundup on price we have we're going to say we have a about a thousand dollar suppressor all right we have about a three hundred dollar light we have about a fifteen dollar you know cord management cable cord, management cord cable management system uh, barrel was 80. Oh gosh. So we're going to say a hundred for the barrel, a hundred for the rail. So what is that? That's, that's, that's 15. That's 1500. We're going to say 300, 200. So that's 2000. Two, yep. Lower upper combos, 200, give or take. Two. Yeah. So 22. And then another hundred for the miscellaneous parts. Is so we're at $2,300. Law tech. I already added the oh, added, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, well, the American Defense mount's probably a hundred. So twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred bucks plus a tax stamp. Uh, so it's a pretty expensive little system, but you you got to think. You get a lot it, of bang for buck. You get a lot of bang for buck, and if you were to do this with any other brand, you'd be shooting up in the four thousand yeah. dollar mark. Easy. Because you're you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here in terms of the ability to conceal, 
the ability to shoot that caliber, the ability shoot to shoot it quietly, quietly, which is super important and super valuable, especially when you're looking for these personal defense weapons and you want to get such a small compact package. It really, really, you know, makes a big difference, the caliber that you choose. And that's the reason we went 300 blackout. And this is easy to manipulate in a CQB situation, like in a home. Exactly. Or in and out of vehicle. Yep. It's small enough. You can do all that stuff with. Familiar platform too, AR-15, mm -hmm. everybody's got one. Everybody knows how to use one. Everybody knows the controls on them. So, I mean, it's it's really just a do all, you know, home defense, personal defense weapon. And we think we did a good job at tackling it for the price tag, especially being able to get a suppressor, a high-end light, and doing it all for about $2,500. Yeah, I was pretty impressed for yeah. what, what it came out to be. It's awesome. I love it, and uh, it'll be it'll be a mainstay. What I'd really like now is to get a 5.56 upper fort that looks exactly like that one, so I can bounce them back and forth. Because the only the real downfall of 300 blackout is the cost of money, <laughs> the, the, the cost to expensive. shoot it. So you know, if I was to make any changes to it, if you wanted to plink with it, make a 5.56. Yeah, I would I would get a 5.56 upper and bounce them back and forth. Sparky, would, what would, would you do anything different to this? Not for doing a, a jam badger. It, it, the Not way it is the, is. What's it's supposed to be. I mean, you got, is this going to be uh, beside the pillow rifle now? <laughs> Under the pillow rifle. The pillow, why, not, why not behind the toilet? In the shower. Well, I think I keep it like in a bag or something. Keep ah, it it'll be all right. It's Cerakoted. Good grief. Actually, what I would do moving forward, you know, a, an additional, add a little bit of money into the safety and trigger, because those are just trigger mil guard. spec. Ah, the trigger guard. It ain't fine. that big a deal, but no. it would make it look better, I think. No, it probably would make it look better. But in terms of like actual upgrades, I think the trigger is about all I could do. Spend another $300, better safety, better trigger. And then, and then she's probably good and to go. She's, rounds it out perfect. I, I agree. So, anything else to add, Sparky, while we wrap this video? Watch a jam, here comes a badger. Okay. We really appreciate Ace Tech for supporting the video. Also, a big thank you to Air Precision and Optics Planet for helping us out. If you want to go check out you know, all the awesome stuff over at Optics Planet, you can use code DELP and it saves you a little bit of Check moolah, it. saves you 7% off your order. That's anything over there. So if you're buying uppers, uh, barrels, optics, you name it, you have it. The only thing you can't buy at Optics Planet is actual firearms. So you, you can get pretty much anything else for this build other than the suppressor and the lower at Optics Planet. So go check it out. Also, if you want to see everything that is on this build, you can go to basementoperator.com and there you can find it out on the builds page as well. Ta-da. Ta-da. As always, guys, take someone outdoors. Peace.